just work on a little bit of this position here. Good job, Bob. What we're looking for is, you see how, just to get the proper position so everyone understands, if his head comes out and he's able to look that way and this way without bumping into my leg, he's too far forward, right? We want it so that if he can't look that way, right? Look, that's too far forward. See, too far forward. See how he can wrap around like that? So I'm gonna clean that up before we go on our little walk here. Here, I'll come over here so you guys can see. You wanna come over here? Let me show everybody the proper position here. Good boy. Good, so ideally he's a little behind my leg, right? But as far as where the line is, where I'll start to correct to see his nose, if it starts bobbing out in front of my leg like this, he's riding that line. We don't want that, right? If this is his nose right here, we actually want it somewhere like this. So it's right, it either will touch the mid leg or be behind. So we'll work on that. Good. So what I did there is I, I kind of slowed my pace. I kind of did a, st a stutter step or whatever you would call it. And he kept going, so he ended up out here. So he got corrected for that. But watch, as I do it more, see he's paying attention. Good boy. He didn't allow himself to go out in front. Come on. Good dog. So we can actually explain that to him, right? So if I'm feeling at any point that he's kind of pushing and riding that line, you can do things like pace changes where you can speed up and then slow down drastically. And if the dog's not paying attention, good job. They'll end up out here and you can correct. And then you just kind of repeat it a couple times until the dog does it successfully. So you can say, good job, I like that. And just adjust that position just a little bit. Okay, that's one of the tricks. Good boy, bud. See, that's a nice position right there. That's perfect. Right here, see? If he were to turn his head, he's going to touch my leg, right? If he's out here, he, they can scan. Good. So this is really a follower position right here. He's just following this leg. Watch. Let's see. You see that? When I turned my leg, he came with it. Good boy. That's brilliant. A little bit of a problem there. Little bit of a problem there. It's probably very clear, you guys could probably see that. So we'll work on that again. When I turned, good. Well, that time he adjusted because he got corrected. Good. This is just cleaning up, just finding the little things that he might struggle with in position here and talking in detail now that he's so far along. So if I turn this way, that looks good. Nice work. Good, that's nice, Mateo, good. See, that's better. He's putting more effort in now. That was awesome. Another thing is if I step to the side, good, that's nice. That's good. That's good. That was good. Hey, hi, Daniel. Wow, that's nice, bud. Stay. Pretty good. Pretty good. Down. Wow. That's beautiful, bud. That's beautiful, bud. <laughs> what the heck? You like belly scratches? Very nice. Okay, Mateo. Stay. Good boy. We talked about it before, but when you say your dog's name, we just want it to mean look and listen. We don't want them to guess what we're about to say. So when I said his name, he was about to come to me. He was guessing it was going to be a recall. But I could have just said, I could have said, go away. You know what I mean? He doesn't know. So we say the name, we get that moment of connection, and then we can 
then we can communicate. Mateo, break. Wow. Awesome. Flaunt that rig. You hungry, Ricks? Good boy, Tate. Good boy, Mateo. Yeah. I have a couple pieces of this food, huh? Hey. Wow. Oh, I would love to paint you. You're pretty. Good boy. Yes, it's very good. Ricky, what's this thing? What is this? What is this thing? What's this? <laughs> Whee! Yay! Good. Good boy, Mateo. Break. Yeah! Good job.